Hi everyone, so welcome to a new video here on my craft channel. I'm Crafty Cassie, and today I'm going to be opening up a really old box. So, this unboxing is the Elves box by Sophie and Toffee. I have, I hate to admit this, but I have over a year's worth of boxes that I have had uh, let sit and I've done almost nothing with, and um, yeah, so I'm kind of unboxing them and doing projects and things like that, as you will have seen already. Um, I will have posted the March from 2018's box. This, this one right here is April's. So, right now this is just the unboxing, but eventually I'll be posting a project video as well, which will come up soon ish um, after this video so not sure when um, but it will come and basically what I'm allowing myself to do is when I do these craft kits is I am allowing myself to use products from previous boxes that I have already opened so in this case I can use items from the um, March box as well as this one to do the project but neither here nor there. This is about the April box. Now I love this minty packaging and I think it's awesome that their boxes change with every month. Um, and so you're not getting the same color box every single time. There are some repeats because let's face it there's just so many colors you can do before you end up coming up on a repeat color. But yeah. It's, open this up. I have done some leg work already. I took out like the packing peanuts and stuff like that. So here's what the items look in the box. And for April 2018 Elves box it was crystal. The theme was crystal tranquil. And yeah. Came with an exclusive code. And so here are the goodies that we got. I have already gone in and I have priced everything so I can tell you that this box is worth a bunch of savings. So if you're thinking about a Sophie and Toffee box or going with the premium, or not the premium, this is just the, the, the regular box. I don't have the premium box. Um, but you can see that it basically comes with a complete kit. Um, so you can at least do one project. Um, usually more actually with how much they give you. Um, I still have a bunch of uh, regular epoxy left over from last month. But so I'm going to start from the top and we'll talk about prices and everything like that. And so if you're interested to see if this is really worth it, um, yeah, we'll just talk about that at the end. So the first one is the 60 grams of Sophie and Toffee Clear thin UV resin and that is this big guy here. Now 60 grams in theory doesn't sound like a lot but actually this this is a lot like I could probably like this comes with this is a small mold like that dome is the size of my thumbnail essentially um, I could probably glue it to the top of my thumb so I could probably make like 60 Okay, maybe not that many, but quite a few of those little um, sphere molds with this one kind. Um, so yeah, so I do have some UV clear resin. The next item, in, oh, and this retails for $10.99 for the 60 gram bottle. The next one we have is the two 10 grams Sophie and Toffee Clear Color UV Resin. And that's these two. So, okay. So they kind of have a um, locking mechanism. So you have to like press down like as if it was a medication bottle. Mm. Looks like a little bit of pigment leaked, which is, it's dry, it's okay. Um, so we got colors blue and green this time around, but they do have other options, so if you want to get other colors. Um, these have to be cured, they're not like a pigment, you don't add these into the um, clear resin. You actually, these are resin with color already built into them. So, um, 
and they're transparent so if you want to put other items into these colored resins they will still be visible underneath this light and each one of these retails for $5.82 so for the two of them it would cost you $11.64 if you ordered them on their own the next one we have are these two here and it's 100 grams of Sophie and Toffee translucent food grade silicone mold maker. So basically, it's a two part um, silicone molding mold maker. Um, you would mix part A and part B, and in this case, it's in a one to one ratio. And then allow to dry for at least one to two hours. For best results, allow drying overnight. So. You would mix these together until they formed like a putty and then you would stick whatever you wanted to make a mold of like a cabochon or um, another item, things like that and then you would be able to um, and you let it set, it says overnight so I would say 12 hours minimum honestly just so you know that the putty has really had a chance to uh, set and then you would demold the item that you're trying to make a mold of and then you can use your UV resin to make a new mold or, or to make a new item, another a new cabochon or a new crystal or something of that nature um, whatever it is that you were trying to make so and that, the silicone mold maker it is it does come with both parts when you order it and that retails for $8.18 on their own. Uh, these two. These two actually come together. Um, no, they don't. You have to order them separately. Alright, so these are two Sophie and Toffee exclusive base stands. So basically, if you wanted to make one of the spheres and you want to decorate on top of the sphere you could then place it on the mold stand so it has something to hold on to and then you could decorate on the edge or around sorry about that um, around the base of the sphere or whatever item it is that you're trying to decorate so there's a small and a large and in this case um, the large is 4.43 and the small would be 4.31 so for a total of 8.74 you'd get both of the stands and then all three of these molds I'm actually gonna oop, there's some looks like I got some escaping dolphins here I'm gonna go ahead and open these real quick and um, so you can see a closer look at these, actually. Probably. And then for these, these are the small, medium, so small, medium, and large um, crystal sphere molds. And they actually come in as a three pack together. And these retail for uh, $2.83. So the idea is, is you hold them, you get, they're actually two separate pieces. Um, they have these little number um, bits here on the one side what I would refer to as your male side and this side has, is depressed 
I don't know if it will show, but it's got holes. That would be like your female side. And so you fit them all together. Make sure it's nice and locked in. And then you would pour your UV resin in here. Of course, you wouldn't want the pieces to fall apart like that. So, um, I'm definitely going to have to play with these. And then you would let, then you can, because they're clear, you can use these with UV um, resin. And then you would just cure the UV resin inside the mold. And then once it's all full to the top, pull it out, pull out your resin piece, and you're done. Um, so yeah, you get all three of these for the price of one. And then, okay, so butterflies. We've got butterfly confetti, and we have dolphin confetti, which you can see the dolphin has. Looks like that. I actually had a butterfly randomly out here too, on the uh, outside of the box when it first came. And I saw it, I was like, ooh, that's shiny. I got super excited. So for these two jars, each one of these retails for $3.50 a piece. <clears throat> yes. So, and these, it doesn't say about how much these are, but I would say you've got about a couple of grams in here. Um, I would never use more than a couple at a time. So you've definitely got a lot of projects out of these as well. And the final item is two high quali quality plated rings, and these retail for $3.90 for the set of two. So you get a gold one and then a silver based one. So, how much do I pay for this kit? I pay, with shipping, mind you, $35 every month. So for $35, I got everything you see here in this box, and it is a complete kit. The only thing is, is that with UV resin, you are missing something to cure the UV resin with. Yeah, you can use sunlight, um, because that is sunlight is UV um, rays, but if you are like me and you live in a place where it's pretty cloudy a lot of the time, you wouldn't be able to do this kit because you've got no way to cure your UV resin. Now, since then I have gotten some um, UV lamps and stuff like that. I do as well um, do nails and actually had my nail license um, and so I got a UV light for doing gel nails a long time ago. So I do have a way to cure UV resin. I can just use my nail light but if you were just starting out in resin and you had gotten this kit you couldn't do it until you got a torch. Since this box came out actually Sophie and Toffee does now have a starter box and you can order that and then it rolls into the regular Sophie and Toffee box after that and it comes with a UV torch um, a little light that is UV light and you can cure UV resin with it um, and it basically just it's a project in a box that teaches you the basics of how to do resin crafting um, my March box from that I showed you previously was actually my very first box and I was very thankful that it came with regular um, epoxy resin so it's it, a chemical reaction that then dries together, cures together to create the resin and uh, I was so I'm able to do that um, and if I didn't have my nail light I wouldn't be able to do this but I am going to be able to do it and I will show you using my nail light actually um, but yeah so, it's the only thing that is missing out of this box is a way to cure the three bottles of UV resin that are in here. The mold maker um, dries over time. Again, chemical reaction, just like the epoxy resin that I got last month. So, uh, if I had bought each of these items separately, had gone on to Sophie and Toffee's website and had ordered everything, to make a project, it would cost you... It cost me fifty-three twenty-eight 
plus shipping. So for $35, I am saving almost $20, not including shipping. So, and this is coming from the Philippines, so shipping should be about $15 just for regular shipping. It would take the same amount of time. Um, it's usually the end of the next month when I finally get my Sophie and Toffee box, which is fine. I'm okay with that. I understand it. it like I said, it comes from the Philippines. Um, I think I'm actually still waiting on this month's box. I'm not exactly sure, but... So, and I'm okay with that because, like I said, I have over a year's worth of Sophie and Toffee Elves boxes to play with. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I've given myself a nice buffer time until my next box comes to, to have enough projects to play with, enough goodies, and you're always going to have leftovers. Um, in fact, I've started putting certain items um, in my like little shoe boxes, plastic shoe boxes that you can get at the dollar store. So like all my molds are kept in one of those and all of my findings are kept in one of those. Um, but I need to see if I can find another one because I'm going to need to keep like my resins, you know, like this is the leftover resin I have from last month. Like it's not a lot left over, but if I get another box where they use this kind of resin in it, you know, I can mix, I can use this and that together in my, another project. UV resin, you know, the UV resin pigments, all of those um, should be kept kind of together along, as, along with the mold maker. So that's something I want to... Storage is a little bit interesting for me right now. The confetti I'll just put into my um, glitter drawer that I have because I've been collecting glitter for a very long time. I use it more with more than just crafting. I use it in um, nails as well. Nail art. So, but yeah. You save a ton of money and I would suggest if you're interested in something like this definitely go for it. Especially with that new starter box. The Sophie and Toffee premium box which has come out in the last couple months and has undergone some changes for the better. Now basically you were getting the regular box, but it's coming with added extras in it as well so you can take your project to that next level, or it almost makes it seem like you can do almost up to two projects with that one box in the premium box. But that's a $50 box. Don't get me wrong, you do get like some awesome exclusive items that would cost you a small fortune. like. To, to get them shipped to you. Um, so, I would definitely recommend this Elves box. That's why I continue to get it, even though uh, I just started playing with my um, Elves boxes. I, I, I love them, and they're fun, and they're great, and I love going on social media and seeing the teasers and how everyone's done everything, you know, seeing different types of aesthetics using the same box and stuff like that. Um, so that's really, really awesome, and I um, look forward to every month's box. This next box is really epic if you're a Harry Potter fan, so I'm just going to throw that out there because it's, it is Harry Potter themed. Um, but each of them come with a different kind of theme, so... You know, these create, like, little crystals, so, um, yeah, these are pretty awesome, so I'm going to definitely be going into another video later on, where I make a project with these. I don't know what I'm going to do just yet, but you'll definitely see it when I make it, so... Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, and I would suggest you do. I do more than just unboxing of elves boxes, I do other things too, so, um, and if you get the elves box, what would you change about it? If there are any changes, what would you 
like to see as a theme. Um, I know I would... There, there's so many themes I can think of that they haven't done that I would love to see. Um, and themes that they have done that I'm so excited to get to those boxes. I just haven't gotten there that yet. Gotten there yet. So... But yeah, so until next time guys, I will see you all later. Bye-bye.